Good morning, how are you today? I'm at IB today and do you know, for a long, long time now I've been meaning to do this course that's sort of built into YouTube itself, especially for creators. I think it's called Creator Academy or something like that. So today is the day that I'm going to go and figure out how to get into it and start going through it. It's a college day today. Izzy's getting ready for college in her room. Ivy's having a shower. Oh, look, why's my hat on the floor? If you'd rather just skip straight to the Creator Academy bit, I'll put a timestamp quite high up in the description for you so you can click straight on it. In the meantime, I've got to put some food together for Izzy. It's about 25 past eight and we're going in 20 minutes or so. I have assembled this bit of salad for her. So that's some pepper, cucumber and lettuce. Some green olives, apple, banana, cheese string and some crisps and some water. And she would like to have some chips today in the college cafe with that. I think they can take their own food into the cafe and sort of mix and match if they want to. So that's what she's going to do today. We're going to end up at my dad's today as he's got a class later on in Cardiff. So we're going to go via there to my dad's and then go back to college tomorrow morning from my dad's. That's kind of our weekly pattern at the moment. But right now, we're just going to pack up and go. There's the teen making a very brief appearance in the vlog today, completely oblivious on her phone. IB and I are going to have a little bit of a breakfast date again today after we've dropped her off and then we're going to do some work. I've dropped the little lady off now, or well, we've dropped her off. We've come into a cafe. IB, invisible boyfriend, is ordering some breakfast. I'm actually going to go for avocado on toast today, which I've never had before, but I just feel like it today. Well, it's come and it looks really nice, but there's only one slice. I'm not sure if this is going to fill me up, you know. I've managed to find the home page for the Creator Academy. I actually found it via a link in the description, but I'll put a link to it in my description as well, so you can go straight to it. Seems to be a big catalogue of online lessons that you can do. It tells you how long they all are. That one's two hours and consists of four lessons, for example. Yeah, have a little look, see what you're interested in. There seems to be a tab for profile here, so I'm going to go into that and uh, set some stuff up. So I've selected my channel category here. I've put it as vlog, but as you can see, there are lots of different things to choose from. And then you can select your goals. And there's all sorts of things on here that you can choose from. So these are the three that I've picked for now. I've got a lot I could uh, do to learn all of it, to be honest. But for now, I've started with get found on YouTube, engage my audience and grow my channel. From what I can see, there are 30 courses to choose from here. And they seem to be one or two hours long. That's 45 minutes, that one, after your shoot. Build a business on YouTube. Unlocking your gaming channel, that's not relevant to me. Copyright. Going after long-term success on YouTube. And more. On my profile page, it's recommended me these two courses. Maybe I'll start with these. I'm gonna get my headphones on, make a start, and I will report back. I selected the first course here, and I've clicked on details, and it's shown what the course covers in all the different lessons. Apparently, you need to get 75% to pass it. I'm gonna crack on and have a go. I'm on lesson one here. I've been at it for a little while. I had to watch a couple of little videos, and then to do some reading here. These things here. And then they gave me some questions to answer, which I've had to type the answers in here. And it's basically got me to analyse specific analytics, looking for patterns in likes, comments, sharing, favourites. I don't even know what that is. Does anyone know what that is? And at the end of that, there's a quiz, like a multiple choice quiz to do as well. It's been quite interesting because it's got me thinking about things that I otherwise probably wouldn't have taken the time to do. This is a little bit basic for me because I've personally been on YouTube for two and a half years already, but for somebody just starting out, it would be really good, I think. But I'm only on the very, very tip of the iceberg here. I'm sure it'll go into a lot more depth very quickly. Ooh, I got 100%. Would rather hope so, really. Given that this bit's for beginners and I've been doing it two and a half years, would rather hope so. Anyway, I'm gonna try the next bit. Who's watching my channel? Learn about your audience with YouTube analytics. So on this side over here, it shows you where you're at with it all, really. I'm just on lesson two, I guess. Out of six lessons and then, oh, there's an exam at the end. One little snag I've hit upon is it seems to all be demonstrating it in classic mode. And of course these days we've gone over to Beta, beta Studio, haven't we? Uh, Studio Beta, how you pronounce it. So that's the Beta and this is the Classic. 
so it looks a little bit different. I'd rather just stick to beta because I know that classic is going away. So I think maybe they're going to need to update their graphics a bit. I am finding that a little bit confusing because I'm having to cross ref between the two tabs and trying to, yeah, do that. I'm probably the best part of a couple of hours into this now and I am finding some real surprises with the guided sort of talk through looking at my own analytics because it keeps on telling me now go and look at your, for instance, uh, analytics which show specifically which devices people are watching your channel through so for example have a look at this so this is studio beta by the way um, these colored lines represent these things mobile phone computer tablet TV game console and to my surprise more people are watching through their phones than anything else we could have a look to see how this has changed over time I'm let's have a look at the whole lifetime show I bet it's uh, more mobiles these days Ooh, look at that <laughs> computer is blue so yeah I think the computer was the more prevalent until more recent times and now the phone is coming and overtaking it so I suppose theoretically if you know people are watching on a tiny little screen you're probably better off having quite big action like this now because I'm quite close up I am quite aware that people do watch on phones but I didn't know it was that proportion to be honest now it's asking me to check my playback locations reports so now I've done that, it wants me to write how would you use this information to help improve discovery of your videos. See, and I have to write it in this little box here. So it's kind of like a guided thought process in a way. It's quite useful, I think. But I'm definitely coming to the end of my attention span now after nearly two hours, so I'm going to do this bit and then do something else, I think. Oh, there we are. Just done the quiz and got 100%, but it only had two questions, so that was quite easy. And there were multiple choice. Anyway, I've definitely had enough of this for now. My brain is getting boggled, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. I would recommend giving it a go if you want to explore a bit more than you already have. Oh, uh oh, look at that dark, menacing looking sky. I've been sat in there for hours and hours. It's about, it's getting on for two now, I think, and I need to go and get Izzy in the next hour and a bit. So I'm gonna have a little walk to clear the old brain, and then I'm gonna go and sit in a, another little cafe and have a coffee and uh, do Portuguese, hopefully for the best part of an hour. I've been quite enjoying these little uh, weekdays to myself out and about, cafe hopping. But would you believe her 12 week course is nearly at an end because she only has three weeks left, including this week. And we still don't know if there's any funding for her to continue from September. So fingers crossed on that because she's really enjoying it and she'd like to carry on. That time has flown by. I just wanna say, I'm really enjoying writing with this red pen. I don't know why, the ink just soaks in lovely and it's a nice bright color. It's the small things. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that last hour, just sitting down and just doing Portuguese and letting my imagination wander off and have daydreams sometimes, very relaxed. Anyway, I'm off to get my little Izzy Wizzy now. I can't believe how close we are to the end of this course now. We won't know ourselves when we haven't got to uh, be traveling around quite so much, getting us to everything, but we've enjoyed it. Even I've enjoyed the bit of a change. I've dropped Izzy off at her group now and this really annoying thing keeps happening. <laughs> In my boot. Look, the sole keeps ruckering up and it's forming a really hard ridge there right under the sole of my foot. That's better. It lasts for about seven minutes and then it gradually ruckers up. <laughs> I don't have much luck with footwear at the moment do I? I'm having a bad footwear year. It's about an hour and a half later now and I have been driven to extreme lengths. I have removed the offending inner sole and I'm not entirely convinced this is going to be better, but let's give it a go. Now, there's something I'm not awfully keen on in life, and that is my feet feeling different to each other. I can wear odd socks that look different to each other, as long as they are the same thickness and texture. And right now, these do not feel the same. This one feels very kind of as if there is no suspension in it whatsoever. It's like shock waves coming up from the ground every time my foot hits the floor. But never mind, we shall soldier on in the name of parenthood and collecting children from groups. How are you with these sorts of matters of the foot kind? Do you mind if they feel different to each other? We're just chilling out of my dad's now. Dad's just over there. I've just noticed that mine and Isabel's uh, 
sitting position is very symmetrical. There's nearly a line of symmetry. <laughs> Let's see what you're drawing then tonight. I'm Colleen Ballinger. Colleen she's Ballinger. just had a Netflix special released on Netflix not to draw. Is that her. Miranda Sings? Yeah, the person who plays oh, Miranda okay. Sings, but her actual self. And well, I'm going to draw Miranda Sings next to her. Oh, okay, nice. We've just been googling, or Grandad's been googling. Do you want to be in the vlog, Grandad? If you insist. <laughs> oh, I insist. Oh, there he is. <laughs> just been googling what uh, the origin of the expression the Sven Gali is, because uh, Dad said Isabel could do with a Sven Gali for her art, but when we looked up the definition Don't of it, <laughs> she didn't want one. Someone who's horrible and controlling and dominating. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. And in the meantime, my dad found some. Sheet music of his had been scribbled on and he was about to go, Oi, Isabel! And he saw what she had written all those years ago and then he was like, Oh, all right, I'll let her off then. <laughs> it's nearly Izzy's bedtime now. We've been lounging around on the sofa chatting to my dad for probably a couple of hours, I think. Very enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it. Comment down any thoughts below and hit that subscribe button to follow more of our adventures and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.